Okay, here we go. Uh, another Canadian first, I guess. Or probably not first, but I just got it this morning, two hours ago. Yucatan from Matago. Uh, this is the Kickstarter. I went all in. Uh, am I going to use it all? Who knows? Uh, I have not punched this game. I took off the plastic. I looked very quickly to check if there was any damage. Um, so this is going to be a very uh, uninformed or misinformed uh, unboxing, so please do not expect uh, any sort of accuracy as far as the game is concerned. Um, for context, uh, I've backed all of the uh, Matago kind of big box. Well, I shouldn't say all, but I did back, what is it, Kemet, and uh, I own the other ones is what I should say. So I'm a fan of these games, um, you know, Cyclades and Inish and all that stuff, so... Uh, I saw half of a Dice Tower playthrough and backed it, and I don't remember anything about the game ever since. So, is it going to be good? Who knows? Uh, so, I think one of the reasons Canada's first is we got these uh, corrected um, tiles. There were some misprints. Uh, Madigo was very good about uh, alerting everybody and saying, Hey, we made a mistake, but um, they actually had everything reprinted. Not everything, but the, the misprinted tiles reprinted and kind of sent out. So I think that's why this one's kind of delayed and some people are getting it and some aren't. So here is the, I guess you could call this a core box. Again, Matago Games, two to four players, 14 minutes. All right. And I'm going to mispronounce Guillaume's last name, but Guillaume Montage, Montage uh, is the designer with art from Carl Fitzgerald. And I guess that's development, Francesco Oru. <laughs> So you open it up, uh, these are a little bit misordered, uh, sorry, not misordered, but I put them back kind of uh, willy-nilly. Um, so Matago for, what, Kemet, they had a bunch of these like game up boxes that were supposed to be like add-ons, and for some reason they felt like they needed to include the boxes. So I'm not going to lie to you, I do not know if this box makes sense to kind of hold on to, but uh, here is a pyramid storage box, which is broken down and ready to be assembled. Uh, the player board was actually underneath the manuals and stuff, but uh, this is what I'm going to open next. So here's your player board. It is round. Round player board. People unite. Uh, of course, it's not working because it's round. So it is uh, printed only on one side. Here you go. I did back the play mats, so you will see that last. A little washed out, but I wouldn't say bad. I shouldn't say washed out, but it's a bit of a lighter uh, color palette. Uh, score tracker on the outside going to 40. But yep, round player board if that tickles your fancy. All right, player aids. Uh, always like player aids. Uh, not necessarily a fan of Matago's wine list player aids, necessarily. Um... But it is nice to have player aids. So this tells you all the different, uh, what all the different summonings do and things like that. And there are a bunch. So it's not like with the original Kemet where you had one or two and you had to pass them around. Everybody gets one. French rules. Uh, English rules. I have heard rumblings that the rule books are not great. Uh, I have not read them. Here's just a quick scanning. Again. Uh, this is my first time looking at the contents. Uh, punch boards. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, punch boards. Uh, so some of the stuff is wooden components that are in the box. So uh, what other stuff am I going to use? I don't know. We'll find out. Well, you won't find out. I'll find out later. More punch boards. Again, these are replaced by uh, some upgraded currency also. Looks like we got a pyramid, more tiles, probably a turn order marker. Oops, that's me punching stuff. As you can see, stuff is separating quite easily. More Aztecian Mayan. I'm going to get in trouble for that. South American, his historically accurate stuff. More pyramids, multiplier tokens. Some sort of board hoochamagoo. Okay, there is a ton of stuff in this box. There are no less than 9 million gray troops here. Uh, I'm 
not going to take them out. Sorry, folks. But there you go. Uh, I would say decent quality online with the, the newer Kemet uh, blood and sand stuff, not their older nasty bendy ones. I see a lot of straight axes rather than bent ones. Okay, over here. So here's some of the screen printed wooden pieces. So these white and pink, sorry, white and purple for the 5.6 player. Look good. Simplistic, but straightforward. Nice contrast on them. And again, for the two to four players in this box, look good. No complaints, nice detail. They look funky. And silica, so they don't stick. Cardboard thing. Uh, I think this has the up on it. Yeah, so this might be a stretch goal, or not stretch goal, but they call them up your game or something. Or There you go. Okay, we got some monsters. Cool. I mean, it looks like the things that run around in my basement at night, but they look good. I don't know if that's a, again, if that's an exclusive or, or a game up thing, but uh, here's some more stuff. Looking very Kemet like. Good. They look like some decent sculpts. Uh, that looks huge. But yeah, they look decent. Uh, more grayish troops. What are these for? I don't know. But again, mostly straight weapons, which is always nice. Very slight bendy spears and staffs. I've got a couple more big fellas here. He seems happy. Cool. Snake guy. Big fan of snake guy. Standees, rivets for something. Player pieces. Again, this is the base game, so only the four colors. So we got Axe Fella, or Axe Person. Cannot tell. And other stuff. Standing Sword Individual. Look good. Alright. So there's actually a bunch of stuff in this box. So there are standees here. Uh, I'm going to be 100% positive i don't remember these are kemet related i believe this is another uh up your game pack or game up pack uh, so that's that more stuff here just cardboard after cardboard after cardboard uh, stuff here to punch out More for the pyramids is my assumption here. Lots of pyramid stuff. Pyramid, pyramid, pyramid. Okay. Player boards. Dual, well, you can't see it very well, but they are dual layer. They look good. Uh, seeing as though I live in Canada, I look forward to these warping quickly. Uh, just the way it is. Uh, very rare the dual layer board from any company does not warp, but they look good. Uh, clear and concise. Uh, again, you're not going to see a lot of English and stuff because they do go multilingual, but it uh, looks good. Realistic resources. Uh, these look cool. This is the jade, and it looks like they're actually like polished stone. They're not like plastic. They sound like stone. They're very irregular, which is kind of cool. I mean, I could see people complaining that, hey, this jade doesn't look very jade-ish. It's a bit light, but I think that's awesome. And probably my favorite upgraded component in here. Karn. Little corn kernels. Looks awesome. Okay. So these tuck boxes, I'm not going to lie, I do not know what they are for. But they barely fit in this box. So they're a bit squishy. But I mean, they're... Cardboard tucks boxes, that's fine. So there are two of them in here. This one does not like to come out because of the player boards. Or I guess player trays. Uh, cards. Actually, we'll pull the trays out first. Player trays. So these are all stacked. Am I going to be able to separate them one-handed? 
you know what? They all look the same. There you go. Which is the right way? I don't know. They seem pretty sturdy. They do not seem flimsy. Uh, again, they are all attached together. The fact that they are not separating easily is probably a good sign. Who knows? With uh, companies like Seamon, they tape them, but I don't see any tape. I think it's just because there's these deep wells that I'm having problems. There's a little thank you message. Thanks for backing. We got cards. Uh, I will not be opening these cards because I cannot do it one-handed. Oh, come on, there we go. Funky artwork. There's an uh, insect guy. Or insect. Snake bro. And... Sword person. Scorpion. So again, some of this stuff... Uh, carries over with Kemet, like you can use the stuff from Kemet either in here or vice versa, so that's part of like the all-in. And then here's the deck of cards, oops. So there you go. Art looks good, dark, kind of a dark theme, but it looked like that from the from the campaign, so this is not a surprise. Uh, okay, before I go into other stuff, I did get the sleeves. So you get a pack of sleeves, printed on the back, black backing. Are they the best sleeves ever? Who knows? They seem sturdy. And there's just a pack of those. Again, this is in the all-in. All right, so we're gonna move this out of the way. How am I gonna get all this stuff back in the box? I have no idea. So a little bit of a, a, little bit of a teaser there for the play mat. But here's the solo mode box. Again, uh, I don't know anything about the solo mode. There is nothing in this box though. There are what is essentially a deck of cards and some other cards. Sorry. Destination. Construction site. Okay. Uh, three little cardboard counters. We have the rule book in both languages. Well, in two languages, I'm claiming that there is more than one. Uh, real quick. A oh, pretty beefy solo manual, seven pages. And iconography, iconography on the back, which is nice. I like it when it's on the back of the manual, so you don't have to flip through it to get through it. And we have a solo board, which I'm sure somebody who looked at the solo stuff will understand what that is for. Just tossing the stuff aside, so pardon the mess. Alright, five to six player expansion. All right. Another truckload of Grey Warrior people. Some more of these. Oh, that spear's a little bendy. Maybe it's supposed to be bendy. Okay, this pack is the purple and white players. So again, we have axe person and sword person and staff person. Cards for the five player and six player. I like the purple. If you're a purple player, it looks good. Player trays. Same as the other ones. your boards. Again, really like the clarity on this. Purple and white. A couple more player aids. God, there's so much stuff in here. It's definitely all in. More tokens. Uh, a lot of this stuff is wood, which I showed anyways. And you can tell the punch boards are pretty good because we already have a couple pieces kind of popping out here. All right. I am going to put this stuff back in the box so I can briefly show the playmat. Apologize for the mess here. That is solo mode stuff. You guys go there. 
You guys go there. All right. And lastly, the playmat. Uh, I should have left out the other board to see if it's comparable in size. I believe it is. Um, it looks okay. I actually, it seems to be a pretty good, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Pretty good pre reproduction. Looks like the print is a little fuzzy, which is kind of expected with these kind of player mats. Sometimes the definition isn't amazing, but uh, it's not terrible. It is legible. That's it. That is the Yucatan All-In Kickstarter pledge that arrived at my door three hours ago. Thanks for watching.